Hello everybody, welcome back to Jurish Reacts. In today's video, we're gonna to react to 22 by Taylor Swift. Um, I've been interested in looking at some of her older catalogs since I've been recommended some more recent songs. And I kind of wanted to get out of these songs that were about the Kanye drama because there seems to be a lot of them about that drama. And I just wanted to go to an earlier Taylor Swift that I haven't heard. And I thought it would be fun to find to react to this song and have the video up, video go up on the 22nd since the song is called 22. Uh, if you are liking what you're seeing on the channel, make sure you subscribe, it helps out a lot. If you wanna support me further, there are links in this video description for my Patreon and my Twitch Prime. There's also a link for another short video you can watch where I talk about the ways you can support me if you want to. So it looks like there is an official music video for this song, which just happens, I'm just glad that there happened to be one. I just kind of picked this song randomly because I saw it the 22nd coming up. And uh, I've got the lyrics pulled up as well. So I am definitely excited to hear what this uh, older song, I think it was from a couple albums prior to what I've been listening to now. So what this older song sounds like and what this video looks like. So here we go. To dress up like hipsters and make fun of our exes. Uh uh, uh uh. It feels like a perfect night for breakfast at midnight to fall in love with strangers. Uh uh, uh uh. I can't tell if this is when she was country or not. I mean, it's acoustic and it's GDCD, but I don't. It's like got a pop sound to it. Midnight to fall in love with strangers. Uh uh. clean singing voice, you know? <laughs> nope, not anymore. <laughs> This seems like a very genre-defying song where it's somewhere in the middle of country and pop because of the straight acoustic simple chord, but then also the drum and beat and the melody um, is very pop-like. Um, she's not 22 anymore either. Just saying. Uh, feels like a perfect night to dress up like hipsters. I like how she said that word too. It was funny. Make fun of our exes. Feels like a perfect night for breakfast at midnight. Man, pancakes at midnight. Always good. Uh, to fall in love with strangers. Uh, stranger danger. Uh, we're happy, free, confused, and lonely at the same time. It's miserable and magical. Tonight's the night when we forget about the deadlines. It's time. I don't know about you, but I'm feeling 22. Everything will be all right. If you keep me next to you... You don't know about me, but I bet you want to. Everything will be all right if we just keep dancing like we're 22. This is a song that when you are young, you instantly are going to connect with because, it's, again, it's catchy as shit. Um, it's music that anybody can kind of hum along with. Um, and if when you are coming of age, then you identify with artists of any kind that are of your age and somehow made it big. Um, if you get older and you grew up with this song, then you're nostalgic for it. And if you are finding it new like me at a later age in 22, then it's fun to think about the songs you listened to when you were that young and how a lot of artists kind of sing about growing up almost as if they're targeting children so that we'll grow up with them and get them stuck in our heads and they'll have our money for the rest of our lives. Almost. Um, but this is a really catchy song so far. All right, here we go. Hit me. We ditch the whole scene and end up dreaming instead of sleeping. Yeah. We're happy, free, confused, and lonely in the best way. It's miserable and magical. Oh, yeah. Tonight, tonight, when we forget about the heartbreaks, it's time. Uh oh. I don't know about you, but I'm feeling 20. 
just a second. This is, I'm, I don't mean to interrupt the chorus, but I'll rewind it a little bit. This is very squeaky clean. Very. And so to juxtapose that with Look What You Made Me Do and Bad Blood, at least the pop version of Bad Blood, I have not listened to the original track yet. Um, I can see why it would have been a bigger deal if you were following her career in real time. Um, so see, I can put... Don't worry about me piecing things together out of order. I can put the story together. Just everybody relax that watches the Taylor Swift reactions. I'm I'm getting all of the information that you're sharing with me, and I'm finding it through the songs. Um, but yeah, I can see why that would be a big deal. Because um, this is G Disney Teen Bop Clean. Um catchy very catchy and such a clean really really solid singing voice um yeah and fun light-hearted upbeat lyrics that it's easy to see why she was such a big hit um when she kind of blew up now when i write a song someday with the chords g d c d i don't want to hear anybody complaining Cause this one's pretty damn good. All right, here we go. I just want, I want this lighthearted party song by Taylor Swift playing while somebody is puking their guts out hard <laughs> and doing hard drugs in the corner and complaining about their absentee parents. That's what I want. I want this, I want this fictional lighthearted, bubbly, everything's cool, everything's great party song next to real life. We're all puking our guts out and our families are broken. That's what I want. <laughs> Jesus. That sign, that 22, is used so much in the video that I feel like it subliminally wanted people to do this the whole summer. It's the entire video. She's holding this out. And... It's almost like subliminally like, I bet that was on t-shirts. I bet this was on t-shirts. Just saying. Um, <laughs> really catchy song though. Uh, super catchy, fun. Uh, really fun uh, lyrically. There was a lot of lyrics. Um, that part where she says, um, we can all identify with breakfast at night. 
uh, in that part early on in the song, happy, free, confused, and lonely at the same time, miserable and magical. Like that was such a really cool, really catchy uh, flow of words that went really well with the uh, the music. Um, and yeah, the video is is very squeaky clean, uh, which was very much a purposeful choice as far as I can tell, uh, and it worked. So I definitely like this song, and it's fun to go back and look at these older videos now that I've seen a few more recent ones. I'm having a lot of fun with this. Definitely like the song. If you like this video, make sure you like and subscribe. It helps a lot. Comment down below. Let me know what you think about this song. If you grew up with it, if you found it later, does it hold a special place in your heart? Does it feel like pandering to 22-year-olds? Um, uh, I don't know. I'm, I'm curious what the diehard fans think of this song. Uh, and also, let me know if you have any other recommendations for me to react to, whether it's Taylor Swift or any other artist. As always, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.